Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays Flight and Review. And today we're taking out the EAF18G Growler. Now this has recently been released uh, as of recording this one today. The Boeing EA18G Growler by Aviator671 on FlightSim.to. Now this particular model is a full native freeware aircraft using the Asobo F-18 cockpit. So you will only get the front cockpit. It is not a two-seater, even though the model is that. But the only one you can see inside is the Asobo one. So you will be able to fly. It has a different flight model. So what I'll do is I'll read the information that comes with this while we have a quick look at this. Uh, weapons loadout can be selected by entering weights in the payload menu. I'm actually going to do that right now. It's a good step. So we go to the weights and what I am going to do is we're going to remove all of the weights. So we do have our left mid. Let's go to zero. Zero. Hang on, that one come back. Type zero, there we go. So we can actually remove all of the stores. And that's it. All right, so we're nice and clean now. We'll come back and have a look at that. So you can fly this as a fully clean growler version. You can't remove the parts off the wings, though they actually come with it. Other players in the mods can see the loadout and select as uh, and many of your visual effects on the multiplayer. The canopy can be opened on the ground with the taxi lights. The boarding ladder appears down when the canopy is open and the engines are shut down. So let's go in and have a look. Now where's my canopy? Down over here. There we go. Well modeled. Very good. Alright, we'll let that sit there for a moment. The boarding uh, ladder appears when the canopy is open, the engines are shut down. Formation or slime lights can be toggled with recognition lights. We'll do those uh, when we start up. Aerial refueling probe can be extended with wing lights. Paint kit is included, so there should be a whole bunch of uh, liveries. I am using the VAQ132 uh, Scorpions. There are eight liveries that come with this, including another Scorpion without this part in the middle. Uh, we also have a Vader one, which actually has a Darth Vader on it, and several other liveries. All right. Cockpit is a single-seat F-18 cockpit using the Asobo gauges. Weapons still appear on the wings, but the paint scheme will not match, and there is no back seat. So when you're inside, what that means is, and you have a look outside, you can see the wings, but it won't match the paint job of the uh, aircraft that you're livery you're flying. Although technically, right at the moment, that looks the same, but I don't think I would see the 540 on the wings. All right, let's get that back to normal. Uh, flight model is custom and should provide a generic fighter-like performance without targeting any specific real-world numbers. The engine and fuel systems are not necessarily accurate either. The tail hook is functional, but it only appears to work with some of the available carriers. You can use the kinetic assistance uh, I've tried it. I can land on and take off on an aircraft carrier. So you've always got that. But you can actually do that particular thing on any aircraft. This one, though, you can with some carriers. Trial and error, I guess. Hopefully someone uh, will assist with getting a fully functional for all carrier packs. The weapons and most visual effects are controlled by lights as a hack and to make them visible in multiplayer. You may notice that things will quickly flash if you hit the light command. This is normal. Some players with hard toggle, light switches on their joysticks, may run into issues when the aircraft and control are fighting to turn on and off lights at the same time. I have seen that when I've tried to use certain uh, functions and I had a full layout on this, a loadout, and they flashed until I turned off that function. Uh, it does happen, but that's how other players can see it by having all of the lights controlling the weapons to be shown. Uh, if this is the case, I su suggest you uh, set your light controller to neutral so it is not constantly forcing the light on. There you go. All right.
let's give this a, a bit of a look so we do have our wings down we can probably start this up i'm just not going to go through the full f18 uh startup on this but we do have a wing folds button but we're not going to oh no actually the hydraulics will work there very nice maybe gravity and where's the button close the canopy up goes the ladder and i'm going to load in the weapons so i'm also going to do an auto start while that's doing it i will turn that down quite a fair bit because it will get loud all right so we do have different options now on the outer i'm going to start on the left so this is our left wing even though it's on the right but we're facing from this angle we have the stores rack so that pops in the stores rack there or we can pop in 150 which will actually put in someone want to let, write a comment down below of what that is i'm not sure whether it's supposed to be a smoke thing or if it is actually i don't know what they are my uh awareness of that is not very good 350 we'll put in an a i think it's an aim 120 uh because aim 120s are 350 pounds or if we put in a 380 i'm not sure what uh model of a missile that is Let's see if we can get in a little close and have a look No, I don't think it's going to say on it. Unless we read it upside down. Someone can uh, write a comment. Again, I'm not that great with my recognition for missiles. And we can go in the mid, the same deal. So 70 will give you your... Hang on, I missed at the inner. I'll we'll leave that there for now. Let's go 70 here. So we're going to actually have a full rack of stores or 300 will give you a fuel tank, I think it is. Yes, 300 gives you a fuel tank. 380 will give you the same missile as this one. Uh, 700 will give you two AIM 20s. There we go. And 950 will give our electronic warfare pod which we will fly with today on the inner you know, let's get a 150 will give us a small tank so we can run around with a small fuel tank we can run around with oh, let's go 300 there large fuel tank or we can also run the missiles there i might just take the small tank which is a 150 now this is not modeled the other side yet because you do have to uh put those in on the other side too now we can do a left fuselage at flow by putting in 250 so we can get our stuff there or we could put in a aim 120 by putting in 350 i won't do that at the moment now we have two actually it looks like three possibilities here is it 70 yes we have a rack there so you can run just an empty rack or you can run a fuel pod there we go it's actually got a decent paint job on it or we can run another electronic warfare pod so all we need to do is change that to nine zero and you'll run another pod and to be honest i really like the looks of that fuel pod so there we go and by doing that we may actually change this one back out to the missile system it's going to add a little extra weight there we go all right, and what we'll do is we will copy out the same on the other side. Now, the only thing we can put here is an AIM-120. So 
we'll be popping it underneath by putting in a 350 so you've got your uh, floor on this side and you've got your aim 120 on this side now other players will be able to see these things I think we just put in that there didn't we yep All right, the next one out, we want the Electronic Warfare, and then we are back to the, we're going to be actually quite heavy. All right, there we go. Now, you can modify and change that, like I said, uh, as you wish. You could go empty, you could go with full missiles, but we'll see how this goes flying like that. Alright, animation for the canopy is delayed. Park off. Now I've noticed the steering is very, very sensitive. And I find if I go just a slightly too far, or fast, it slides a lot. Which, you know, maybe that's true in real life. See, that's almost zero throttle there but if I try to turn you can see how it would be sliding on that front wheel doesn't seem to turn and I can actually turn quite sharp there we go all right while we're taxiing very very slowly here we're going to pop on our lights if we can Position lights and recognition lights. And there we go, we've got our uh, lights on. Now, you, you are running the same cockpit that you do have in the Asobo one. I don't know how much extra is changed. Uh, All right, I'm going to put it on flaps auto. Let's go up. There we go. Now they're on auto. Okay, some other things I've noticed in this is when you look left and right in the aircraft, it actually pokes the camera in front of the nose of the aircraft. Uh, something that I think could be updated with a little bit of changing the uh, position of the camera. And outside, we seem to have these lights. You see the green light floating there and a red one on the other side. So they seem to be floating just outside the canopy. Hopefully that's something that will get updated. Because it is uh, kind of ruining a, a really good aircraft. Uh, I have noticed that though on several payware aircraft had the same thing. Not necessarily there, but further out. Alright, what we'll do is we'll take this for a quick fly around Sydney. Wait for this fuel truck to get off the runway. Thank you, mate. We'll do a full burn. Take off and get the effects there. smooth gear animation is quite nice on that so you can see what I mean about those floating lights all right let's trim this down and slow down I might just turn it down a little bit it's quite loud now I know my voice may also be loud but uh, As far as performance goes, it does have its own flight model according to the website. It does it does actually spin over quite a lot. Obviously that's going to be hard on the pilot, but um, you know, yeah, it's quite manoeuvrable. 
what we'll do is um, I'm not going to dwell on flying it's not too dissimilar to the Asobo F18 developer did say they modified a few things what we'll do is we'll run and take this back to uh, airport sounds like my pilot's uh, puffing and puffing in there yep But I'll have a link in the description. Download it. It is a free mod. You probably do have to have the Maverick F18 in well, he, the uh, sim because uh, you won't get the cockpit otherwise. That's the uh, free DLC from Asobo. Some decent effects in the lights and wow that afterburner really does poke a long way out. So what we'll do is we might do a, uh, a very quick climb here. 0.54 mark. And bring it over. I have done a, uh, a Mark II run in this. Uh, I only got to Mark II when I did the dive. Now, air brakes. Notice that these liveries are very clean too. No, I'm not going to land it there. But we can slow us down with a little bit of... Okay, landing gear does not come out at this speed. Obviously we are going in too fast. Although 230 or something knots, we should be able to run them down. There we go. And auto flaps, you can see that the uh, flaps are now definitely coming down. Let's put those air brakes back in. It's quite easy to fly too. So if we can just get the uh, Looking left and right fixed, and those lights. Uh, I actually think it's a really good mod. Looks like we're going to have somebody on the runway. My fault for uh, coming in late. Hopefully that's AI and not a player. Terribly sorry if it is. Auto flaps have come down. Looks like it's an AI taxing off the runway. Tucking in behind them. Under the wing. There we go. Oh, well, it's the black vans are more dangerous. Very good. Nice aircraft. Link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the rest. Let me know what those other missiles are called. The ones that are larger than the 120s. See if we can move in here. Alright. Thanks again. Bye.